Dream Den, sub-level 12. Three more floors to go. Honestly, now I'm worried about Omar dying. Omar is so low on HP. And he... Honestly, he's only really been... He's gotten hit a couple of times by the Dwarf Bulwarps, and he's only been dropped by the Bumbling Snitchbugs like three times, but the Bumbling Snitchbugs just deal so much damage that it does, doesn't matter. That's all it takes to get him down to, like, no HP. No, I did not realize what time it was, because I lose track of time when I'm having fun. I am having fun this stream. Like, it's super annoying when the Pikmin are incredibly obnoxious, but... It's still an enjoyable game. Okay, this is another nightmarish sub-level. I do believe I have to take... I thought there were way fewer poison hazards here. I thought this this uh, dream den barely had any poisons uh, in it. Guess I was wrong. All right. Mm. I'm not gonna say it's completely impossible, but it's very unlikely to get a million arty bucks. I can tell you it's definitely impossible to get as much or as many arty bucks as it takes to get the face reveal. That's the only reason why I put the face reveal on there. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, because the radar is going haywire, I can't tell where there's treasures nearby. But I'll bet you almost anything that this guy right in the center has a treasure. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, that's not good. The time has come! <laughs> okay, well, how about we find where the whistle spider is? Kill him, and then we'll see where the treasure is. Yep, Alice in Wonderland quote. Stop! What the heck? The blues just refuse to stay away. They adore getting thrown into the poison events. And let the frog hop away home. That's not the way to your home. Great, now he's stuck on this side. Ah! How can he jump that high? How can he jump that low but still kill? That's very true. Yeah. The blue. I'm not sure if the, it's the purple Pikmin are stupid. The purple Pikmin are just unbelievably slow when it comes to moving into a group. The blue Pikmin are just unbelievably, phenomenally, colossally stupid. With, like, demanding that they be thrown into the poison to die. Alright, well, let's try this again. Oh, great. We're in the bottom of a sink now. Okay. I want more purples than that. I I threw purple pigment, but it would not let me throw them. I, I still think frogs are by far the glitchiest enemy in the game. 
Gatling Groinks are up there, but the frogs, like, it literally feels like there's just no rhyme or reason to the frogs at all. Like, I feel like their, their coding is only half finished. Which is funny, because the frogs are even glitchier in the first Pikmin game. With them just being able to crush your Pikmin even when you're not near them. You want to know the truth, Nintendo Addict? They really haven't. They've gotten bit a couple of times by, like, the dwarf Bulborbs, but the reason they have all this damage is because the Bumbling Snitch Bugs drop them, like, two or three times. That's it. The Bumbling Snitch Bugs deal way too much damage. Like, Olimar in particular, he's gotten jumped, like, I think only four times, and that is basically exclusively why his health is that low. It's the stupidest thing. Well, no, it's not, but it it's pretty doggone stupid. Choo-choo! Right. Let's go and kill the big daddies. Oh, actually, let's kill the spider first. Okay, I hate how he's close to the poison filter. We need him to get closer to me. There we go. Boy, there we go. There's the treasure. Let's hope it's the only one. There we go. If Olimar dies, I have to reset. Yeah, and that does worry me because the final boss is not that hard, but the final boss definitely can inflict damage on your captain. So that might be where most of the difficulty comes from. We just sent that froggy corpse flying, Ooh. and I love it. You guys carry that back. Yeah, we gotta hope Olimar doesn't die. Clabber girl, baking powder. A stringent container. I didn't invite you guys alone. You have to stay here. This is an Egyptian swim! All Hebrews out of the water! VeggieTales reference. Is that where the final treasure is? That's nice, but I don't trust that freaking frog. A frog and toad are friends. Final boss doesn't, it, but it is stunning. Well! They can stun lock you. And that's not fun. Veggie Tales was definitely one of my childhood shows. I had several. Arthur being the big one. In case nobody knew. <laughs> Work, my little men. Work! Where's the exit? Okay, the exit's over there, and it's behind a gate. Let's just work on breaking that down. Arthur was a great show, but it went on like 15 seasons too long, to be honest. At the very least, they should have ended it before they went to Flash animation. Dig it up, up, oh, dig it. Dig it up, up, oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, that should be the only other treasure, right? <laughs> right? Most of the treasures are on the final floor.
Oh my gosh, I love how fast flower pi white Pikmin are. We've gotten so many of these rains just of a different color. The universal calm. Yes. Wonderful. Delve deeper! I believe we have one sub-level left before the final boss. Game has been saved. Dream Den- yep, sub-level 13. Alright, this is the last of the normal sub-levels. Alright, oh wow. Really? We're going here already. She's like, well, how about we just surround you with fat guys? It's just like being on an airplane. <clears throat> Do you know how to break up into groups? It really feels like you don't. Fatality, more like fatality. I mean, what? Okay, well, let's deal with the easy guys first. Yeah, I think the Harry Boars, yeah, I actually feel like they do have less HP than the red ones, which is weird. Okay. I think if we attack, I think our best bet is to attack the orange one in the back, and hopefully the red one won't wake up. Oh my gosh, even the orange in the back didn't wake up. That's fantastic. Of course, it's the last one that we kill that has the prize in it. Figures. That's fine. Just bring it back. <laughs> the A and W root beer can. Would I have to reset? Um... I would, I would personally reset if I missed a treasure, but I don't have to, because I can technically leave the cave and then come back and get the treasure later. But I wouldn't want to. A and W, caffeine free. The hypnotic platter. However, this is a no-deaths run that is also 100%. Alright. Oh, I'm excited because the final boss is simultaneous. It's a good final boss. It's, it's the right kind of hard. Alright. Let's delve deeper. Are you guys ready for the final sub-level? The end of the game? Dream Den, sub-level 14. Kill every last one of them! Oh boy! And there he is! There's Louie. Now, before we go down to approach him, we gotta do some, uh, thinking. So, this final boss is the reason I brought so many yellow Pikmin. You're gonna want a lot of them. As for all the other Pikmin, we are going to reach the exit and hide them behind the geyser. And even this won't protect them 100%. But it does the best job. Okay, so everybody's behind the geyser. Except for our yellows. Alright, here we go. Hi, Louie. Is that Louie? Mr. President, I have located Louie resting on a vast mountain of treasure. For him to venture to these depths alone, the desire of man is a thing to be feared. How did Louis get to the bottom of this all on his own? There were several holes that were blocked by gates, or that it were covered in rock that needed Pikmin to get through it. Did Louis seal himself at the bottom of here? And Louis's like, I'm on my own, yes, I'll go to the nastiest hole in the game, to the very bottom. <laughs> but Louis is not moving. Could he have exhausted his strength in reaching these depths? There may yet be time, quickly, to Louis's aid. And here we go, final boss of the game. The Titan Dweevil. So Titan Dweevil has four different basic attacks. 
He's got a fire attack, a poison attack, a water attack, and an electric attack. Well, you might think the electric attack is the highest priority because it's the only one that can instantly kill. I actually think getting rid of the water attack first is the priority. So, this one over here is his water attack. Okay, so he's starting out with this fire attack. This is the flare cannon. Giant flamethrower. Not too bad, just get out of the way. So you have to attack basically his four different weapons. I want to attack the water one. Because the water one is the nastiest, actually. Uh-oh, that's not good. The water attack is annoying because it can actually hit your Pikmin all the way back there. Like, look at that. It still hit them even though they were hiding behind the geyser. That's why I want to get rid of it first. It can be a little janky, though. Like, he, he's very high up, which is why it really helps to have yellow Pikmin. Also, my experience, the uh, the weapon that you attack is the one he tends to use the most. And when each of the weapons gets low on HP, he uses a more frightening version of it. Alright. Yeah, so he uses the Flare Cannon, but I want to get rid of the Monster Pump first. Like, even with Yellow Pikmin, it can be very hard to latch on to the weapons. Uh-oh. Whoop. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Thank goodness. Yeah, see why the monster pump is so doggone annoying? It can just hit all of your Pikmin everywhere. And I can't bring all of my Pikmin down here. Okay, here's here's the shock therapist. This is why you can't bring the rest of your Pikmin down here, because uh that will just kill them all. <laughs> Alright, come on. Latch onto the monster pump. Okay. I don't like this one. This is the comedy bomb. It's the poison attack. And basically, you kind of have to get out of there. I am very happy I haven't lost a Pikmin yet. Alright, I'm going to keep burping him just so I can get rid of the stupid monster pump. And again, can you imagine how difficult... Okay, if the comedy bomb happens, you're kind of supposed to move out of the arena, out of the way of the poison. Because for some reason, the poison can damage Olar and Louie. Or, I guess, and the president. And stun them? Come on. Also, all of these pieces have a lot of HP. Oh no, he's using the monster pump. I don't even think the monster pump is particularly low on HP at this moment, which is weird. Because he's still using the generic uh, monster pump attack, not the super one. Yes, please keep using the shock therapist. I actually would appreciate that. Yes, please keep using the shock therapist. I only have yellow Pikmin down here, so... There we go! Okay, we destroyed the monster pump. So that's a very big piece of the puzzle out of the way, which is nice. At this point, I'm debating if I should get rid of the shock therapist ne Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the shock therapist next, just so my upper Pikmin can join in. Because as well... Oh, Shock Therapist is already low on HP. That's nice. But I think... Uh oh I think the Flare Cannon is the least threatening of them all, which is funny, because in real life it would be by far the most threatening. I'm just telling you right now, you don't want to save the Comedy Bomb for last. Because if you save the Comedy Bomb from last, that's literally the only attack he can do, and it basically means you constantly have to run out and run back in. 
So I actually maybe, you know, I think I'm going to take the Comedy Bomb out next. Because the Shock Therapist is low on HP, he's going to spam that a lot. Which I am fine with. Again, the Shock Therapist can't do anything to these Yellow Pikmin. Ouch. Where is my... Oh, there he is. How'd you get up there? Okay, can we just get the monster pump out of the way? Because each of the weapons that he drops is a different treasure you can take back. And it's worth a lot of money. Okay, flare cannon time. Uh-oh. Whew. Uh-oh. I hate that comedy bomb. There's nothing funny about it. Boss just has so much HP, man. Ah! Yeah, like, look at how... F I wish he couldn't spam the attacks this much. Trust me, it gets very annoying. When you get down to just the last weapon and he just spams it over and over again. But I actually really like this strategy, because he keeps spamming the Shock Furbus, which is the worst thing he can possibly do if you have other Pikmin down, but the best thing he can do if you only have Yellow Pikmin down. <laughs> this is just the safest way to beat the final boss. Oh yeah, this is definitely the fi this is definitely the boss you're supposed to go after last. No question. By the way, we haven't even seen his real health bar yet. Come on, comedy bomb's got to be close to being destroyed, right? Where are all my ever yellow? Oh no, no, no. Oh, this is bad. No, they died! Ah, he kept, he kept stun-locking me with the flare cannon, so I couldn't whistle for them. Yeah, okay. I think I like that. Go for the shock therapist first, so that's that way, but don't actually completely destroy it, so he spams that attack, and then go after the other parts. Alright, this boss is officially a little more difficult than I would think. Yeah, there are, there are five treasures on this floor. Yep, I gotta redo the whole boss over again. This time I'm gonna have the president. No, you don't get to come along. No, you don't get to come along. Not no, you do. Pikmin are so stupid. I did. I dismissed you, you dumb butt! Get away! All the more! Yeah, it seems like the Titan Dweevil is most likely to spam the attacks of the weapons that are closest to dying. So I think I'm actually going to... I'm going to try something a little different here. The final boss, the first time I played him, took me literally two hours to defeat. Because I did not have many yellow Pikmin. Cool. A 
As long as you have all your Pikmin under control when he uses the Flare Cannon, it's not that bad. But if all of your Pikmin are spread apart, well, good luck. Comedy bomb time. No. That's annoying. No, no, no. Either dying. No. What's annoying is if he shakes your Pikmin off right as he does an attack, it takes them forever to get off the ground, and they pretty much always will get hit by the whatever attack he pulls. Why is it so difficult to throw stuff on it, the different parts? Like, it is impossible to aim at the thing you want. And the comedy bomb is easier to hit than the others because it's larger. But, like, it, the monster pump, man, it is so hard to throw Pikmin on that. Whew. Yeah, this fight is, uh... Like I said, like, the yellow Pikmins are basically the only Pikmin you can use, because the other Pikmin just cannot reach. Like, I think they hypothetically can, but it's really difficult for them to reach. Alright, I think he's going into... Yep! This is Super Monster Pump. You can see he's throwing a lot more of the water globs. Come on, break it off, break it off. It's really close to being broken off. It really felt like those Pikmin were running out of the cave just because they were so upset they were drowning. Yay, Monster Pump is gone. Now we go for Comedy Bomb. You can attack the other weapons while the other... You can attack weapons while the other weapons are being used, which is nice. So, like, while he's using Shock Therapist, you can attack Comedy Bomb. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. I also like the musical cues that happen for each of the different weapons that he uses. Excuse me, there's poison running towards you. You don't want to be there. Come on, that's going to be a lot of damage to the comedy bomb. Oh wow, yes, we broke it off. Excellent. Yeah, I'm actually going for Shock Therapist last. Because Yellow Pikmin are just that good against this guy. Oh yes, please spam Shock Therapist all the time. This will make it really easy to get rid of the Scorch Cannon. 
Or the flare cannon. Wow! There we go! <laughs> Three of them down! <laughs> now we just have the shock therapist to deal with. Unfortunately, this means he's going to be spamming it constantly, so I'm not sure how much damage we'll be able to do on it, because we can't attack it while it's he's using it. <laughs> what a nightmare to get for Deathless without yellows. I told you you wanted yellows for the Dream Den. I was not kidding. You can attack it while he uses it. Pikmin just fly off it all the time. Oh. It feels like you can't use it. Get off of the monster pump, dude. He's like, I'm just gonna spam this! <laughs> oh, sure enough, you can attack him while he's using it. There we go! Alright, now he reveals his true form. He's a giant dweevil who is holding onto a bunch of treasure. But here's the thing, now he can't actually do anything to kill us, so... Now, this is where we load all the Pikmin on him. He can grab our Pikmin, but he can't actually kill them. He can only really swipe them off. Die! No, you're not taking the treasures back just yet. We gotta defeat him! Die, Titan Dweevil! Oh my gosh. Yeah! And there's Louie. We saved him! <laughs> is challenge run a much harder version of the main run? Um... No, challenge mode is very different. Well, kinda different. Louie? Are your life functions fading? No! He appears only to have fainted. He is always running into trouble. Instruct the Pikmin to carry him. There is not enough room for him in the cockpit anymore. We will have to keep him in the cargo hold with the treasure hoard. Yeah, we only have two two seats on the ship. All right, well let's let's carry our spoils back. Oh my gosh, and that's it. That's that's Pikmin Two No Deaths, pretty much. Man, that is that was definitely a tough one. Not as tough as I would have thought though, honestly. I was I was expecting a little more trouble. Especially in those wistful wild dungeons. Yay, Louie gets back. Here he comes to save the day. Ten po he's only worth ten pokos. That's his yearly salary. King of bugs. Louie does really like bugs. Or at least according to his aunt. Oh, yes. A thousand Pokos. Comedy bomb. <gasps> These aren't going to be used for, like, massive weapons of uh, war, are they? Super promise. 1,000 Pokos for the Flare Cannon. Did I like the No Deaths run? I mean, it was a definitely a fun challenge. I probably will never do it again, but... <laughs> I'm glad I did it. Oh, there you are. The Monster Pump. And then here we go. All these Pocos, the shock therapist. <laughs> and there we go. That is all the treasure in the game. 
No Pikmin died except for the eight invisible Pikmin, apparently, that died in the Cavern of Chaos. Still don't know what's up with that. We might be able to find out, though. I'm not sure if we'll still get, like, the end-of-day report, but if so, I'll be able to you see all the Pikmin deaths. You thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. We're escaping! Yay! That's okay. true. Challenge. It's not challenge run. It's challenge mode. Six thousand Pocos in the Dream Den. Cave complete. I would love to save. <laughs> Wistful Wild. Yeah, it's not the same as because challenge run makes it sound like it's the same story, but. With an added challenge? No. Challenge mode is basically a bunch of small caves. But slightly different. You've collected every treasure! Oh, yeah. I will be tackling those caves. And all the Pikmin get left behind. Left below. <laughs> the captain, the, the president's like, I'm so rich now! <laughs> all the onions are going for us. Oh, yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> and you could argue that challenge mode is even harder. You'll, you'll see why when we tackle it. The Pikmin proceed to die horribly. <laughs> as soon as Olmar left the planet, all of the blue Pikmin on the planet went extinct because they threw themselves into poison ventilators. Back to Hockatate Freight. But also, there's one last thing I want to do in this stream. And I'll, I'll, I'll show it off in a bit. <laughs> Pikmin 2. It's still probably my favorite Pikmin game, even though the difficulty is stupid. <laughs> the end. We don't have to see the credits again, do we? Because we already saw the credits once. Come on! Oh, is this one of those games where you can't actually save that you beat it? That would be kind of stupid if that was the case. No, I know you can! Okay, good. You just have to wait for a long time. Pikmin lost. It says I lost a Pikmin. Pikmin lost in battle. That's bogus. I did not lose Pikmin in battle. And you know, absolute worst case, I still have my save when I started this, so I can go back and do Cavern of Chaos again if, I, if the people really want me to. But I definitely 100% did not lose any Pikmin in that cave. <laughs> 